Andy Ruzica taking it to the streets with a very important question for voters, whether the mics should be cut after two minutes at the next presidential debate. Let's find out what people think. I think it's a great idea just because when we listen to the debates, we want to hear what their opinions are. We want to hear what their policies are. We don't want to hear a bunch of people screaming back and forth because I've watched a bunch of debates over the years and I love watching. And the first one of this year, I actually turned off because I couldn't handle the back and forth yelling and screaming. So I was like, I'm done with that. So I didn't get to really hear a whole lot because I was tired of listening to the screaming back and forth. So yeah, cut the, cut the mics and let us hear what's going on. Good idea, absolutely. I think it's a good idea, but I don't know if that will prevent um, one of the candidates from shouting over the other candidate. So I hope that they will still do some, some uh, moderation, you know, to prevent that. Otherwise, yeah. you know, he well, can make himself heard even if his mic is cut. And I think that's a yeah. shame. I don't know that it will prevent the rude commentary and the lack of professionalism in, in the uh, debate rules, but I, I'm yeah. hopeful that cutting the mic will, will at least eliminate some of that. So. I think it's a good idea to, you know, don't let no one cut or get cut off, you know, because two minutes is what you get to try to, you know, vote the, vote the people that's going to be voting or the delegates that's there, you know. So you can't cut someone off. And if you got something that, you know, comes to mind as someone's talking, keep it in your head. And then if, it, if it's meant to happen, then it's meant to happen. You know, then you'll say what's said when your two minutes come up. Everyone should get there a lot of time. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I think it's much needed. It was very chaotic and you couldn't follow anything, you know, when what some blowhard is, you know, trying to talk over somebody else. And I think it's absolutely necessary. I think it'll be a good change. Well, there you have it. Seems like everybody's in agreement. We should cut the mics after two minutes. Be sure and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. For Taking It to the Streets, I'm Andy Rizika.